Uh, David Robert, lovely to see you both. Thank you very much. David, for you, putting this together after what some might say some unexpected success, that breakout that was Animal Kingdom, how daunting was this doing the Rover? Um, it was daunting, but you know, only in the way that making anything is daunting. Uh, uh, I mean, I've the, you know, I go into these things with a healthy degree of terror, you know, I think it, I think I need to, you know, it's like, a, I, I think I learnt quite a few years ago that I only, my brain kicks into a kind of a, a super rigorous gear when I'm afraid of, of uh, you know, of getting it wrong. As far as the process goes, is the writing part of it the hardest part for you, do you think? No, I mean, in a way it's free and, you know, yes, it's hard. I mean. It's, it's hard, but it's the place where I feel the least pressure. You know, it's the, yeah. it's the place where anything is possible and everything is just existing in the world of, of, of dreamland, you know. So, yeah, it's, it's hard, but it's, but it's kind of free and quiet as well. Uh, Robert, I was surprised we found in David one of the few people on the globe that hasn't seen one of the Twilight films. So how was it then that you came to be involved in the rover? Uh... <clears throat> I'd seen Animal Kingdom and, and kind of tried to seek out David, like, I mean, a while before, uh, without really knowing what he was doing or anything. And then, um, yeah, the Rover script turned up, and I hadn't read the email it was attached to properly, and I thought it was an offer. And I <laughs> immediately I called back, and I was like, just from that meeting uh, a year ago? <laughs> that must have really impressed them. And they're like, no, it's not an offer. You got an audition for Are you past the audition stage or you still had to audition? No, I still had, yeah, I had to audition twice. Twice? <laughs> what, what took him the second time to convince him to win him over? Um, the, uh, I almost said something completely inappropriate. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, what? Uh, I don't know. No, actually, no, I know exactly what the, this. I hadn't prepared all the scenes <laughs> in the first one because uh, normally when you get an audition, they give you like four scenes. Right. And one of them's like the most extreme scene in the movie. And so you're like, wow, they're not going to ask me to do that one. <laughs> and so. It was the first they one get, they, yeah, they get yeah, They get to you. It's the first time it's ever happened. And, and <laughs> it's, like, it's like, yeah, well, I, those are the scenes. Like, We've got to do that one. I'm like, well. Oh. I mean, I say that, you know, I. I I mean, yeah, I kind of did put Rob through the ringer a little bit, yeah. but it was, and I can sort of say now that I knew within the first five minutes that, that, that I had found the guy who would play the character, but yeah. at the same time, you know, that terror that I was talking about before, yeah. this is where it manifests. This is, because it, this it, is it, the, one of the most important decisions I can possibly make on this film, and I was nervous, and I just wanted to be absolutely certain. Because it seemed you had your heart set on Guy Pearce for one of the characters who, of course, worked with you on Animal Kingdom, what was it then about the other character that you weren't so sure about and suddenly Robert appeared on the radar for you? Well, I just hadn't written the character with any particular actor in mind yeah. as I had with guys. And uh, I go like this because Guy was sitting here just <laughs> like five minutes ago. Um, uh, and, but, so, but that's exciting. It means yeah. you, know, so you, you're, you, you open the character up to a world of possibilities. And, and, um, and you know, I, as Rob said, I had met him like a year before I even knew I was going to make the rover yeah. and, and I found him instantly beguiling and so, such that when it, when it came time to start testing for the movie, I, I just knew that I knew that I really wanted to, I really hoped that Rob would come in, I really hoped that he would audition for me and I really, because I had a feeling that, that there would be something there that could work. And then I'm sure pleased enough. to see, Rob, you've had a change of clothes. Have you ever done a film where basically you start the film in the same clothes you finish in? I've actually done it a few times. <laughs> you are? Yeah, I did it. And it's the last, yeah, basically the last three or four movies I've done are basically so you're the same thing. So you're low maintenance on the, <laughs> uh, you're low maintenance on the set, are you? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I mean, basically the last three movies I've done, I've been wearing a black suit in every single scene. <laughs> and that, and that's, that's crazy. <laughs> Tell me, you're in Outback South Australia, limited phone reception, no paparazzi, questions about romances. Is it nice getting out of that Hollywood bubble for a while to do a film like this? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't really exist in it anyway. I mean, I live in LA, but yeah. like, I don't really... I don't know. I mean, I, I figured out a way to not really have people chase you around and stuff. Um, but definitely in terms of just working, not having, not having 
people observing who aren't part of the, the job. Uh, it's, it's, very, it, yeah, it's very freeing and kind of a lot, it's a lot more relaxed media. We often see with Australian films, they can be used as part of tourism campaigns or very, this isn't <laughs> one where you're going to look at the vista and necessarily, oh, wow, Australia, I've just got to get to this place. <laughs> I think I think Australia looks really beautiful in the movie. I mean, and I'm I don't I I, I know what you mean, but the I, I remember my early cinema experiences and how completely captivated I was by parts of the world that I had seen only in really dark movies. You mm. know, when I saw Taxi Driver for the first time, yes, I just yeah. oh, I wanted to go to New York so much, and like Scarface in Miami, or you know I. It depends what kind of person you are, but yeah. if I saw the if I saw the rover, I'd want to go to Australia. It's stunning, like, like the, even the, the the mines. I mean, it's it's mind blowing mm. when you're driving along the, alongside of the road. I, it looks like a it looks like a natural part of the environment. Just, Just quickly for, for you, Robert, this role it is a very different role to many we've seen you in. How important was it for you to take on a, a role like this one to break out of maybe the twilight mold to a degree? Um, I mean, it's probably because no one's seen the other movies I've done. <laughs> but um, but uh, yeah, I mean, I'm not, I'm not particularly trying to break out of anything. I mean, I, it's just, I thought it was a really great script and um, for some reason it connected to me on quite a, quite a deep level. And, uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess you're trying, to, you're, you're trying to confuse people's perceptions every job you do a little bit. Well, it's lovely to see you both. Thank you very much. The film opens this Thursday, The Rover. Thank you. Cool, thanks.